Hello? <laughs> I wanted to try it. Hello? <laughs> I wanted to try it so bad. <laughs> I had to try... I had to try the, uh... Mostly it was for me. You can tell it was mostly for me. Like, I had to try standing over it. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Most of you are probably coming from the bps.space channel. There are probably, like, one or two of you who are, uh, <laughs> who are, um, coming from... Oh, my gosh, what am I trying to say? Who are just coming from, like, the regular Joe Barnard channel. I don't know. Either way, today we're going to be going to Duna. That's my plan. So, here's Kerbal Space Program. And the first thing that I actually want to do before we get started here is I want to adjust my settings for, like, the graphics. Because uh, ambient light boost, I feel like, is too much. It was at 100%. Let's bring it down to, like, 70. Um, except... Yeah, this feels a little bit better. Let me try one more time. I just want to make sure I'm I'm doing the right thing. I don't like the way that the Kerbals look right now. So if I do ambient light boost down to four, and I accept. Yeah, I think this is kind of what I wanted. Let's just, <laughs> one more time, one more adjustment, and then we will get started. Let's go back up to like 50, 60, and accept. Great, that's all I wanted. We're gonna start the game and go into the same one that we've done so far, which is Joey B Space Program. Here we go. Hi everyone. 68 people watching, that's incredible. Got my water here. And, what do you mean make it 480p? Why make it 480p? No, I don't, I don't wanna do that. Uh, yes, I have my water here, and because it's on the Joey B channel, I've also got a glass of wine. So, cheers, everyone. This is probably just going to be a short stream. I don't plan on coming back from Duna. My plan is, I think what we should try to do is, like, we should go to Duna and then strand someone there. Um, should we strand Jeb there? That is the question. Is, who, who do we choose... Needs, who do we decide, like, needs to stay on Duna? Um, I don't know if it should be Jeb, because I'm going to feel bad about them. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, okay, so we need a command pod. Here's what I think we should do, too. I think we should open the one that I built last time which is uh, called Thanks Apollo. And I think it's this bad boy, right? Okay, not Jeb, Bill. Should we send Bill? No, I don't wanna, tur I don't wanna torture Jeb. Let's do Bill. Bill is gonna go. And we're gonna save this new one. Um, thanks. Uh, what should we call this? Bye, Bill. LOL. <laughs> no, let's do L Bye. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Bye, Bill. Sorry, dude. Send Bob, he's a meme? The Odyssey by Bob. No, I think just Bill. So let's remove Jeb. Sorry, Jeb. Bill is an engineer and I identify with him. So I think we have to send Bob because I identify less with scientists than I do with engineers. I'm sorry, Bob. I just don't want to feel bad, you know? <laughs> okay, so here's my question, folks. How do I know if I have enough Delta V? Let's look at this chart again. Um, I know there's a chart somewhere here um, that will show us how much Delta V we actually need to get to where we're going. So uh, if I go into one second here, let me open up a new window. KSP Delta V map. 
and uh, let me open this. I think I can just show everyone what's going on. Yeah. So the KSP Delta V map, um, let's open image in a new tab. Oh, how do I do this? Open link in a new tab? I hate clicking this and it like it never shows up. Okay, this is what I want. So it's the KSP Delta V map, which shows us how much Delta V it's going to take to get to where we need to go. Um, so we're on curb and we need 3,400 to get out. And then we need to Duna apparently do we add these all up so 950 plus 130 i think we add them up let me get a calculator here so to get out of carbon orbit we need 3400 plus 950 to get out of the sphere of influence i think of carbon um and then we need another 130 plus 130 to get to an encounter, plus 250 to slow down, um, plus 360, and then plus 1450 to land, plus 1450 to land. So that's 6500 Delta V. Can anyone confirm that in terms of the, um, the Delta V? that we need, does 6,500 sound about right for Duna? If I can just get like a, uh, like a little bit of feedback on that, that would be great. 6,540 says someone. Yeah, I would love to just see where we're at with that. Oh, hold on, let me uh, switch this off, there we go. Okay, 6,540 says some people, yeah, sounds about right. Okay, cool. So we should be good then. Um, one second. All right. So if we have 6,500, here's the thing. How do I calculate? Uh, sea level, right? Hmm. I, I'm so bad at the Delta V stuff. How how can I easily do this? You can ignore everything except the transfer transfer if you use entirely error breaking to land. I kind of feel like this is going to be enough. Like we don't need to come back. Oh, wait, here we go. It, we can add it all up, but these are all like... ISP... 40 seconds. So what's the deal here? We need to set our altitude, I think. And that'll change. Yeah, here we go. So most of this is happening in space, which means we have about 6,200. So we don't quite have enough. 6540, if we do a lot of arrow breaking, we can probably get away with a lot of this. I have parachutes and heat shields. They're on the capsule. Um, add retro landing rockets. Duna's atmosphere is thin. That's okay. I have, um, I don't think I'm going to use the parachute to get down there. I don't think I need more parachutes. Let's do this. Let's take a vote. Just put a yes or a no. Is 62, because oh, it's not, it's not all like. All right, you want to know my plan? Here's my plan, folks. We're doing more boosters. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna do more boosters. We're gonna do all of the boosters. Ready? We're doing all of them. I refuse to not make it to Duna. <laughs> more boosters. All right, and then we just need more struts as well. They don't have to be good looking. 
They just have to work. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, great. This is exactly what I want. So they all light on the ground. Then we light that. Then we do the separatrons. And we separate. This is great. I feel like this is exactly what I want. Save, and let's, let's launch this thing. <laughs> All right, launch. <laughs> Will this be a bad idea? Unclear, but yes. <laughs> I am very proud of this. I am extremely proud of this rocket. And anyone who insinuates that it is not good, I disagree with. And that's it. I also just want to get the sun higher so things look kind of nice and pretty. Okay, are we ready? You'll crash. No, I won't. <laughs> Falcon too heavy. That is true. This is definitely Falcon too heavy. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're moving. I didn't really check where Duna was, but that's okay. We can time our transfer orbit better. I'm just gonna try to guess on the angles that we wanna hit here. This is a little bit hard for my computer, but it's still going. Someone says buffering. Are we still good? You want a 45 degree angle. All right, let's pitch over a little harder. We're about halfway through the solid fuel here. We're probably not over hard enough. Uh, yeah, that's all right. We should probably definitely pitch over though okay nice and hard over <laughs> this thing is insane let me get a good screenshot this is the screenshot for today Okay, great. That's the screenshot. I just needed a good one. Oh, wait, now it's more red. Hold on, let's get another screenshot. Great. That has to be the thumbnail. Coming up on staging. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's plenty for our apoapsis. So we're going to circularize now. You have the clickbait face down. Thank you very much, Gamer Millen. <laughs> All right. Let's circularize. Let's do that first. And then we'll plan everything out past the circularization. Now let's get to, let's get our fairing open so that we can have some resources here. Um, I also want, I just want to have this in the frame so that we can still see like what's going on. Cause I have one in the top right, but I want everyone else to see Electric charge, monopropellant, and we have a maneuver in T minus about three minutes. So coming up top here, let's let's open up these. Okay, hold on. 
How do I get... How do I close this window? How do I close this window? How do I do this? Click it again? Click somewhere. I'm clicking places. It won't... Right click, bug. All right, well. I just wanna get the things out. Oh, there we go, got it. Thank you, everyone. Um, here we go, extend solar panel. Extend solar panel. That's good. So we got plenty of electric charge. And now I'm gonna pin it and do this again. Yeah, that's what I want. And now we will use the reaction control system to maneuver toward the node. Node is in T minus one minute in just a couple of seconds. I also want to pin the monoprop just so we can all see what's going on as we burn. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling good about this. So our, our burn time is 34 seconds, which means we want to start burning about halfway through that. Um, sorry, how does this make sense? We don't burn at T minus zero, we burn if we divide 34 and two, we get 15, uh, 16. And so uh, we'll burn at T minus 16 seconds. Um, and our engine is, is on right now, which means that all I have to do is press Z to throttle all the way up. <laughs> can, we get, can we get claws up for the best comments so far I've received all night, which is, hey Joe, I caught you live because my cat vomited and woke me up. Lievin, I am so sorry. Um, that <laughs> that is unfortunate. I'm so sorry about your cat. I hope I hope your cat feels better. I burned a little bit late. Sorry, folks. I was focused on the cat. <laughs> All right. A little over halfway through. <laughs> Cheers. Can anyone see the Falcon Heavy in the background? Woo! Okay, no more RCS. RCS off. Very nice. So now we're in Kerbin orbit. That's great news. Um, and we have to get to Duna. We have plenty of Delta V left. Um, but I want to set Duna as our target, which is further out, set as target. And what we can do here, okay, the first thing I actually want to do, by the way, is I want to change just one live stream setting that I think will make everything more fun. The, um, <laughs> the last time I streamed KSP, we had an issue where I needed to turn on slow mode. And um, I think we can turn it off now. Let's just turn off slow mode here. Don't make me turn it back on. <laughs> All right, slow mode is off. Hold on. <laughs> Here's hoping I don't regret it. All right, so now it's time to plan our maneuver uh, to Duna. Look at all this crap that I've left out in orbit. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go from like, where should I burn from? Maybe like here? I don't know, let's see. Oh, 
Oh boy, okay, hold on. So... This is going to be tricky to get right. I'm just dragging all the things around until it works. Oh, that was a close one. What if I do normal and anti-normal to really mess with it? Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. New plan. We're gonna look at our maneuver node, we're gonna cancel it. Uh, and I'll create a new one. Add maneuver. Let's just get out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin. And let's get kind of near the orbit of Duna. Oh, shoot, that's not, is that what I wanted? Wait, no, yeah, I wanted this. Oh my gosh, I'm, this is so confusing. There's a fly here too. Can anyone um, help me here? <laughs> what, what do I need to do? You're burning retrograde to Kerbin's orbit. So maybe I go here. And I just burn, yeah, this feels better. That feels way better. I could do almost a clean transfer there too, if I mess with normal and anti-normal stuff, and then I won't even have to do, oh, no, I can't do that. Okay, never mind. Let's do one more. This is complicated. Oh my gosh, this is broken. We're done with this. We're gonna do one more maneuver here. I used to be so much better at this. Okay, we're coming back. We're gonna get close to Duna, like that close. And then we will do a home and transfer. Turn the reaction control. We'll get close to Duna, we'll do a home and transfer, and that's how we'll get there. Like, that's how we'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All I know about KSP is that if you fire the engines, you will move. <laughs> you know, I could time warp to a window, Spacebird, but that's not how Joey B plays KSP. Although now I'm time warping to a maneuver. The burn is for 19 seconds. We will burn at roughly T minus 10. Ah, that's wrong. Okay, well, screw it, here we go. <laughs> I went too far. That's wrong. F in the chat, please. <laughs> that was not correct. Great, no more reaction control, and we're pretty close to where we want it to be. So now, we will time warp out. Here we go. This is what I wanted. And then our Apple apps. Wow, we really can't go faster than this, huh? Takes a long time to get to Duna. It is pretty cool though. Yeah, actually, you know what? Kerbal Space Program gets way cooler once you start going out to the further planets. Okay, let's try this. 
because now we don't even need to do a home and transfer. What we can do is mess. Okay, hold on. What we can do is mess with this. Hold on. Stand by. Okay, there we go. This is what I want. I'm going to move to the maneuver node. Man, we are in nowhere land right now. We are all the way in outer space. All right, here we go. I'm glad I brought monopropellant. So let's speed up and try to get our node here. Can't go faster than this. <laughs> Deploy parachute. I'm not going to do that. Someone said they'd change the maneuver node position a little further back. You know, that's probably right. But it's too late now. 18, 17, 16, 14, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's a bug. 3, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, 20 minutes. Six minutes. Three, four, three, two, one. And that's going to be close enough. Oh, hold on. Staging. That's going to be in orbit forever. That's correct, I am using a Mac. Um, what else is going on? Can I answer any other questions? I don't want this stream to be boring. <laughs> F in chat for the stage, please. Thank you, Gamer Melon. That's a clean burn. Mac gang. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, TBH. All right. Let's just time warp a bunch and see how close we can get. This is way too slow. This is not at all what I wanted. What else do you have planned for this weekend? That's a great question. Uh, tomorrow I have more Falcon Heavy prep to go. Um, that stuff is like motor prep and pyro charges. That's the explosive stuff. So I don't want to stream it because I want to stay really focused when that happens. I also have, um, let's see, what else is coming up? I've got, um, I've got some more work to do on Sunday. Uh, we're, we're working through the rebrand for bps.space. Um, it's looking really cool. Um, so we're, we're revamping what the brand looks like and uh, I'm super excited about it. Ooh, there's a closest approach. All right, this will work. We're gonna go around one more time and just wait for that close approach. And actually, what we will do now is stop the time warp and then just mess with that close approach. So here's my question. That's my position. So if I slow, if I speed up a little bit, I'll catch it. No, if I slow, if I burn retrograde to orbit, I will catch it. F5. That's a good idea. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. 
Do you think a BPS flag would look cool? I bet it would. Um, why do you always wear that shirt? Or are there multiple instances of the shaved shirt? <laughs> I like this shirt. It fits really well. I'm one of those guys, there's, a, there's kind of like a meme about this too. I'm one of those guys who like just has only a couple shirts that he really likes and he only wears those. So here's what I'm looking for. I'm going to start burning and we're going to see how close we can get this closest approach. Oh, there we go. That's going to be close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. I messed it up a little bit, but uh, that's close enough. Do I wash them? Of course I do. I'm not like that much of an engineer. <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to time warp again. And we have an encounter with Duna. We just have to wait a little while for it to happen. And I also still have plenty of Delta V. So if I look at what we've got going on here, 700, this is plenty. I'll be, I'll be just fine. Your conscience commends you to use a maneuver node. <sighs> does it really? It kind of does. All right. My conscience does commend me or command me to use a maneuver node. Here's what I'll do. That's about the closest that I can get. Probably. If I burn normal and anti-normal, can I get any closer? Yeah, I don't really think so. Closest approach. Oh, wow. 47,000 kilometers closest. You know what, this is fine. I really think this is okay. Did I set Duna as the target? Oh, I, oh no, Duna's the target. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so I burned for about a half a second over there. This is great. How is Bill still alive? Is he? He looks alive enough. You know, this is one of those things where I just wouldn't think too hard about how Bill is still alive. That is a pretty shot. Okay, let's just slow down for a sec, turn on reaction control and head to our maneuver node. Wow, we are mostly burning normal there or anti-normal. Six, five, four, five, uh, 40 days, 30 days, 20 days. <laughs> Almost there, folks. Four. Three. Two. One. Three, two. Wanna to try to get it exactly there. One hour. Four, three, two, one. Okay, this is so close. I just want to get it as exact as I possibly can. <laughs> we're going to burn for half a second. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to barely throttle up. Great. That's all I needed. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to come around. We're going to have an encounter with Duna, and we're going to land on it. Bob's not dead. Is he dead? No, look at him. How can you say that? How can you say he is dead? He's not dead. All right. 
No, I didn't send the wrong man. <laughs> Storm sliders. Bob is not dead inside. He is loving this. This is Bob's, like, this is his dream. Can you please focus on Duna? Oh, I see what you mean. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, saw, I see what you mean now. What was I focused on? The craft? <laughs> Zoom in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Coming in hot. I will not go splat into Duna. Don't say those things. My goodness. Y'all have no faith. All right, where's our encounter? Coming up. Here it come. Uh, oh, are we past periaps? No, we're not past periaps yet. Oh, Duna is very dark. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so there's Duna. There's Ike. That's Duna's moon. That's the sun. And we're coming in kind of under it. So let's use a maneuver node and do this the proper way. Oh, geez. And let's just come down real slow. We're going to come down over Ike. Should we go under Ike? 500,000. Yeah, there we go. 100,000 meters over Duna. That's what I want. And then we'll circularize and then pick a landing spot. This is a good idea. We're going to the maneuver node. Where do you think Duna is? Oh, there it is! Right in the background. That's pretty. Okay, node in nine days. Wow, this is slow. The solar system be like that sometimes, you know? What does this even mean? Do you eat the ultimate university meal? Root beer at the soup of the instant noodles? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't think I eat that meal. No, thank you for asking though. Okay, we're right below it. <laughs> He's speaking the language of the gods. Oh man. Okay. One day, five, four, three, two, one. 42, one. Here we go. Gonna try to burn exactly where we need to. What is my favorite food? You know what I really love is chicken piccata. But I gotta be gluten free now because of how my stomach be. So. With gluten-free pasta, chicken piccata. Okay, five, four, three. Or if you do it with like a um, like a rice type of thing. Sometimes they do it with like a nice rice and it comes out pretty well. Okay, here we go. We're gonna burn at 17 seconds. Just stop making me hungry. Do you monitor battery levels on your rocket during missions? Uh, yeah, I do. So I have, well, I don't live monitor at the launch pad, but I charge all the rockets before we go there. I understand their, their rundown time, which means I understand how much current draw signal has. And then when I get to the launch site, um, the, the signal computer consistently looks at battery voltage over time. So it's always logging that stuff. And the coolest thing to me is that, hold on, got to focus here. The coolest thing to me uh, how do we do? Oh, we totally, we killed it. This is great. The coolest thing to me about signal and monitoring battery stuff is that when, uh, when there's a bunch of TVC movement going on, you can see the battery voltage drop. Like you can see the readings go down. 
Okay, here we go. We're going to circularize. So let's get to our maneuver node here. Oh, wait, are we still there? This must just be the same maneuver node. Node in eight days, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One day, ah, plus three minutes. Okay, oops, that's my bad. I am late. I am late by like four minutes. This is not good. Oh, F5. Thank you. Thank you, Poisoned Dark. <laughs> Much appreciated. All right. Here we go. Slowing down. All right, easy, RCS, easy, buddy. Okay, we're done with this. And now, oh, yeah, we waited way too long. Okay. Let's burn at the periaps again. And honestly, okay, let's do this. Let's burn at the periaps. And what I want to do is... Do we care about going to the poles? Does anyone care about going to the poles? Okay, this is a garbage thing. I don't really care about going to the poles. Mostly what I wanna do is, okay, let's do this then. Which way are we going? Yeah, okay, we're going around this way. So if we took like, your periapsis is halfway in the atmosphere. Uh-oh, yeah, that's not good. So up here, let's just burn, let's add a maneuver and go over here. And then maybe come back down and go over here and come back up and normalize a little bit more. And I kind of just want to be right in the sun and uh wow they'd be going fast okay here we go this is what i want and we're coming right down there but actually i think we should overshoot so that we end up breaking a lot this is going to be great this is going to be really good i'm excited about this um it's going to be an intense burn, and it's going to take a lot of fuel, but I think it'll be okay. Um, we are starting to run out of a decent amount of fuel, which I am worried about. Is this going to be okay? It's definitely going to be a one-way trip. But, like, are we going to be all right, you know? I think we'll be okay. Do I ever plan on bringing Bob back? Of course I plan on bringing Bob back. How could you even suggest that I wouldn't? I love Bob. He's my dude, but Jeb is more my dude, which is why we didn't send Jeb, you know? All right. Got a note in about an hour. 50, 48, 47, 46. 4, 3, 42. Whoa, this is weird. Oh! Hold up. Stop, stop, stop. This is not at all what I wanted. I'm going the wrong way. I planned for the wrong thing. This is bad. This is a bad thing. Okay, yep, this is what I want. Nice and easy, right near that place, and then we'll come down here. Okay, nope, here we go. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna require less fuel. It's good all around. The burn time is 55 seconds. The node 
is in 1 minute 30. So we're going to burn at roughly like 35 seconds. Here we go. 43. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we're burning. This is a crazy angle. Oh, rip stage. F5. Thank you. Thank you so much, chat. The F5 reminders are so helpful. It's unbelievable. Boy, it doesn't feel like we should be burning this way. But we do seem to be moving in the right direction. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Bob is doing fine. He'll be all right. Five, four, three, two. Very nice. <sighs> okay, folks. <laughs> you think we're going to make it? We don't have a ton of fuel left. Bob is not dead. Don't even... Bob is not dead. This is kind of what I think. I kind of think, let's move to surface, and let's go retrograde. And if I'm being totally honest, I kind of think that once we pass the apoaps, the apoapsis, oh man, we're screwed. Yeah, retract solar panels is probably a good idea. I think we should use all of the monopropellant that we... Oh, no, because we're coming in through the atmosphere. Bob has not died! What is this? This is a pretty steep entry, though. TBH. I think Bob, I think Bob might be in trouble. I think this might not go super well. I'm like not totally sure, but I think it might not. He's not dead. He's just doomed. Okay, new plan. We're burning prograde. We got to come in real easy. Nice. We're coming in much easier now. That's my new goal. I'm not going to abort the mission. We're doing this. I am worried about it though, and I think that once we start going into the atmosphere, I'm just gonna burn. We're gonna do an entry burn. No, I swear to, do not put rip in chat for Bob. Don't put F, don't put rip. Bob is not gonna die, we won't lose him. I'm not entirely sure about that, but like, my goal is, to not lose him. Okay, we probably need to retract. How do I retract? I can't retract them. Wait, do these not retract? Blocked by re decoupler? How do I retract? Oh, time warp? Oh my gosh, they don't retract. I'm screwed. Okay. The 
they're going to burn off and we're going to run out of electricity. We do have a battery, which will help. I'm not going to use the parachutes. We won't make it if we use the parachutes. I can really, I can like EVA if we need to. I refuse to lose Bob. Okay, we should be uh, heating up here soon, right? Bob is not dead. You have, y'all have, you have no faith. Bob will be just fine. I promise. <sighs> Everyone in the chat trying to trying to mess me up. How low do we have to go before we start to feel stuff? <laughs> Try pressing the retract solar panels button on your keyboard. Joe, you better pull out something great here. D Just wait. He's going to survive, I'm sure. I'm so sure of it. And you know what? I'm not at all worried. And I was never worried, and I still am not worried. And I don't know why anyone would think that I would be. Because I'm not. The atmosphere is very thin. We're definitely still coming down. Oh, man. I haven't landed on Duna in a long time. I just want to time warp until it starts to get dicey. Oh, we are breaking. We're definitely litha breaking. Okay, you can see our speed. We're definitely, we're going down. I really don't like that we're landing on what is basically nothing. Okay, hold on, hold up, hold up. Settings, the ambient light boost has to come down. Yeah. It just needs to be like reasonable, except there we go. That's much better. Oh, boy. Don't get the bagpipes ready. <laughs> I'm going to disable the chat if you don't have faith. Look at this. We're already down to 750 meters per second. Oh. Well. They gone. Solar panels be gone. I'm going to do a little bit of braking here. F5. 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 Thank you. Okay. I've done a good deal of braking. We're going to just cut it off. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling very confident about this. How do I focus on the capsule? It won't focus on it. You know, the one thing that I am not feeling good about though is the, uh, hold on, I have to change this again. Is the terrain. Really not feeling good about the terrain. All right, we're doing gear out. Deploy the parachute, you think so? I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the parachute.
We're about a thousand meters up. Six hundred. Five hundred. Coming down at 10 meters per second. Here we go. We're gonna make it. Throttle up just a little bit, dial it back. Oops, I did this on the moon too. Easy, easy. Easy. And cut off. I did it. I did it. Everyone said I couldn't, and I did it. I don't care. <laughs> we did it. Okay, hold on. Now, I made this mistake last time. Going to shut down engine, and I want to take a screenshot. Here we go. Jeb, you're getting out, buddy. Oh, no, it's Bob. Sorry, Bob. EVA. Oh, hold on. Hang up. A little ladder coming down. Wow, we're on a hill. That's not great. I, I really don't love that. <laughs> oh, F5. Thank you. F5. This game is amazing. <laughs> I think, uh, I think this might actually tip over. I feel like we're getting a, a an oscillation problem with our craft here that's getting worse. I think, <laughs> I think, I think it's the curse of the Falcon Heavy Center Core. <laughs> Can you tell? Is it getting worse? It looks like it's getting worse. The Kraken's gonna get it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's plant of lag, but we're gonna keep it a decent distance away from the vehicle. Nice. For the first time, and the, the, the text on it is... It might have been bitten by the Kraken. <laughs> it doesn't seem to really be getting worse. It's just also not getting better. Focus. What's the... Oops. Well, there goes that. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. All right. Well, we landed Bill. No, we landed Bob. Oh my gosh, I can't even get the name straight. We need to... Uh, I just want to get a picture of them here. Congrats, folks. You did great. You did such a good job. Hold on. Let me get a picture where the rocket is upright. There. <laughs> now it looks... Now it looks like, uh, like I really did it. Okay, folks. So in the next Joey B plays KSP, my plan is to... Um, <laughs> my plan is to 
rescue Bob. I didn't really have time to, uh, to, oh, look, he's sad. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't really have time to make the, uh, to like make the rocket and the spaceship that I wanted to, but the, the next mission is we're going to bring him home. We have to get him off of Duna and, uh, he's going to enjoy his time here. He's going to be fine with the fact that we didn't pack any food. So, all right. I think that's all for me for now. I don't know. Does anyone have any questions? Can I answer anything for anyone before I head off? This has been, I think, five hours of streaming. That's a long time. <laughs> if your rockets become thrust limited, will you end up doing multi-motor rockets with a bigger diameter? I mean, that's what the Falcon Heavy is. It's a multi-motor rocket. Do you plug your Estes F-15s? Yes, I do, JR Craft. Um, let's take a look, hold on. So at the back, what I do is I scoop out, um, I'm gonna do a blog post about this on the BPS website. Um, I'm too afraid to do a YouTube video because um, I think I, I would get demonetized for it for messing around with black powder. But what you do is really safely with a uh, wooden tool is you scoop out all of the black powder and all of the clay at the top of the rocket and then if you look in here, if it will correct, this is a bunch of hot glue. Um, and so the hot glue doesn't really hold it that well. It's mostly just like to keep the fire from coming out. So you use hot glue at the top. Um, can you make me a smoothie? Yeah, Zachary, send me your address and I'll make you a smoothie. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll just put it in an envelope. <laughs> will you recreate the interstellar docking scene at some point? That would be pretty cool. I could do, I could try that. Have you thought of vernier thrusters? Uh, yeah, they don't really work that well on model rockets because of how solids be. Um, what 3D printer do you own and how much does it cost? I own a Prusa i3 Mark II and I think I paid 600, um, but the i3 Mark III might be a little bit more expensive. Where do you go for your weather forecast for your rocket launches, Joe? I try to just congeal all of the weather reports into one. So I look at like a couple different sources. I, I search on Google, which I think uses AccuWeather um, or I can't remember what the other names are, but yeah, I, I try to source from a bunch of different places. Okay, were the long burning, burning motors faulty or were some mass calculations wrong? Tyler, the answer is a little bit of both. Um, here, I'll just go to the webcam here. The answer is a little bit of both on that one. There's the Falcon Heavy, by the way. Um, the, answer, the answer is a little bit of both. Aerotech gave me two different thrust curves, um, and I didn't realize that they were two different thrust curves. So one of them was for the development motor, and one of them was for the um, actual like production motor. And so I spec'd the develop whichever one was slightly stronger, I specced toward that one, and I flew the slightly weaker one. So it was really it w it was mostly on me for not noticing that. Okay, if it were to eject, I assume it would burn signal. JR Craft, yeah, I wouldn't do it. I've had a couple customers who have had um, motors eject into signal. Um, most of them are fine. One of them did die. One of the signals did die because a motor ejected into it, and it's actually right there. The customer sent it back for a repair, and I'm going to do my best to see if I can fix it up. Um, but it's hard to diagnose what actually happens to the computer. So, okay, what else? Um, what battery do you use to light the motors? I use those little LiPos that I, I um, uh, showed earlier in the BPS stream. If you go to the Signal uh, Avionics page, you'll find a link to the lipos that I use. Um, what plants are on the stool? Sean, great question. Okay, so I, okay, this is such, this is my favorite thing. So first, so my girlfriend is out of town for the summer. She's working at a camp in Ohio. And so she gave me a bunch of her plants. This little guy, he looks like an alien. He's a succulent, but he's got these crazy leaves that look like alien tentacles. It's really cool. Um, I have two others. These, these are also hers. So she, uh, this is just a regular old succulent and this is a tiny little guy. He used to have a much smaller pot and then I knocked him over, which was not great. Um, this is 
Oh my god, he's growing! Oh, this is such great news. These are flowers that I got uh, in the spring. It was just a tiny little flower, and I I have kind of been sure that it's dead, but it does look like it's still growing. Like, there's a lot of dead things in here, but it seems to still be growing. Okay, and then the last one, again, when the gal pal left for Ohio, she gave me this tiny little, um, she gave me this tiny little um, pot full of dirt that didn't seem like it had anything in it. And so I just didn't water it because I was like, well, why would you water anything that doesn't seem to have any seeds in it? And she told me too, later she was like, yeah, there's nothing in there. And yet two different vines are growing. Well, they're two of the, I think the same type of vine they grew a ton at the beginning, and then as soon as I repotted them into a larger pot, they were just kind of like, cool, we're gonna stop growing now. So I don't really understand what's going on with these, because they grew a ton, and then they just stopped. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's it for the plants. All of the other ones that I have are fake. <laughs> <laughs> You should rig an Arduino to water them. That would be a good word. Um, <laughs> Joe, launch a live payload. No, I don't want to launch the plants. Um, all right. Does she know you refer to her as gal pal? Yeah, she does. <laughs> okay, I, are, I responded already, but it disappeared in chat. Falcon Heavy is multiple motors as well as multiple rockets, so your gains are lost. If you can do it in one rocket, one TVC mount, your efficiency is high. Yeah. But then you get higher speeds, which means that it's harder for TVC to work. It's all kind of a balancing act with, with thrust vector control. Um, send the plants to space. There's nothing wrong with Ohio except the snow and the rain. Yeah, and also that there's nothing there except corn. Sorry, Ohio. Um, a camera pan to see your place. This is it. This is what, this is what success looks like. It's got rockets on the ground, and there's my computer that I use to monitor the, the chat and the live stream. I can't go too much further, but there's the Falcon Heavy. Right, uh, wow, it's so hard to do this on the screen there. <laughs> All right, I have to go. Thank you so much for joining everyone. This has been a long day of streaming, but we got a lot done. Let's take one more look at the Falcon Heavy. If I can just get it off the launch pad here. Just give me one minute and I will get the Falcon Heavy over here. So we did a lot of good work. This is fully ready to go. All the flight computers have batteries. They have TVC systems. The second stage is ready to go. The biggest thing for me is that the code, <coughs> excuse me, that the code is ready. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing for me is that the code right now is ready to go. And uh, yeah, we're gonna launch next week. It should be cool. I'm very excited and uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay, one more question. How much does the live camera weigh? You... <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. All right. How much does the live camera weigh? Do you think the G8 slash Aspire combo could lift it? Thank you, Joe, for the streams. Thank you, JR Craft, for like literally always being in them. It's it's awesome to always see you. So the live camera setup, um, well, I'll give you some numbers and, and you can work with them and, and manipulate them as you will. So the, um, the run cam on the outside of the rocket weighs about, how can that be blocky there? It's light. It weighs about 50 grams. That's the that's what the run cam alone weighs. And then um, I carry one extra battery with it. The battery is probably another 50-ish grams, maybe like 30 or 40. Um, I carry one extra battery to power the video transmitter because it, it is a power hog. It gets really, really hot. It's super inefficient. And then the antenna, video transmitter, and wires are probably another 35 grams. Um, so the G8, oh man, the G8 can definitely lift it. But the other thing too to consider is if you're gonna launch on that, you need a better antenna. 
or you need to be tracking it with one of those um, really directional antennas so that it's just very powerful on the ground. Um, yeah, you dab every time you sneeze into your arm. That's true. <laughs> Will you do the Falcon Heavy launch live stream? I won't live stream the Falcon Heavy launch. There's way too much going on at the launch pad for that one. Um, so we'll probably just, I'll film it and I'll put it up later. All right. I'm going to do one last dab and then we're going to be done. We're going away after this. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me edit one thing really quick. Uh, I can take the music out of the outro because this is not a BPS stream. All right. Here we go. Everyone, please. Dab with me. Whip. Dab. Let me do one more, a nice deep one. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. May your skies be blue. Nope, nope, that's the wrong channel. Right, this one I just say. Bye.